All right. So, this is the dealio. What's the deal, Pickle? This is the deal. I'm going to, uh, somehow I had a bunch of iron ingots in my possession here. I have emptied out that concrete production there. And we're going to start making the foundations for our base. We're not going to make the base just yet. But we're going to start with the foundations so that we can uh, get get uh, our plan laid out, perhaps. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where I want to make my base. It's going to be out over the open air here because I feel like that is uh, a good way to do it. So let's get some foundations here because then it won't be encumbered by any... any uh, localities around. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and go 10 out. It's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a 10 by 10. So I think I'll go out this way here. And uh, it's going to cost me 600 concrete, but uh, that won't be too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right quick. And then uh, we can start moving some of our production out here to our base. Oops, I think I... Did something underneath there. Oh well. All humanity will be extinct. All right, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so this will be my my starter base here. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll have quite enough to finish it right now, but that's fine. It'll be a good start. It'll be a really good start. All right, that's it. It's all for my. That is all for my concrete. All right, so let's check on our power right quick and hopefully top off our leaves. Uh oh, leaves are out. Leaves are out. You know what that means? I gotta go leave hunting. That's exciting. And look, oh man, our power is almost at capacity as well. Ooh, that means I'm going to have to build another generator, which is going to take even more power. So hopefully we can get uh, get this screw action going here pretty soon. <laughs> and uh, get that chainsaw, because I don't want to have to go hunting leaves, honestly. Ugh, it's the worst. Alright, I got 500. Let's go get that chainsaw. Let's get that chainsaw. Then we can cut down some trees, and then uh, that'll give us leaves and wood. All right, pop these bad boys in there. Beep. Hey. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. 
To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. Thank you. Alright, so let's make the... Uh, um, what? Oh, there we go. Uh, the chainsaw. Chainsaw, we need more screws. And we need five reinforced plates, so, which means even more screws. All right, so we need screws and reinforced steel plates. Uh, how many can I make right now? Three. So I need 24 more screws for that. And then how many screws? 160. Whew. All right, well, we're gonna run out of power before that happens, unfortunately. I mean, we're gonna run out of biomass, and I can start making biofuel from our biomass, which would be good. All right. So I need 160. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go grab some leaves right quick in preparation for running out of biomass all right let's get those leaves in there and that that should help a little bit and I don't need these copper ores all right and so you should start feeding leaves to that guy you should start giving us biomass again and then we can eventually make the biomass into biofuel which will be even more efficient for these guys but for now we're gonna have to stick with what we got right there all right so let's grab that and sort that stuff okay let's go take a look and see what we got for screws and for concrete all right Got 182 screws, so that, that'll do it. And for concrete, let's come over here and grab what we've got at that. And walk beneath the tick there. Giant tick. Grab a couple of bags of concrete. And then we should be able to finish our 10 by 10 base there, I think. Which will be awesome. Okay, here we go. Make ourselves a chainsaw. Oh, I need just only two more of these guys. One, two. All right. Now we're all set. Can't afford recipe. What am I missing? Ah, I had to use a little bit of my screws. Ah, oh. all right. I got some iron rods. Let's just make some screws. All right, now we can make the chainsaw. There we go. All right, let's chainsaw it up, baby. Okay. Oh, I need biofuel to run it. I forgot about that. And that's all it will run on is biofuel. Well, Pooh Bear. All right. So now I need two more reinforced iron plates so I can make another constructor so I can make some biofuel so I can make some freaking yeah yeah all right let's get this going right let's turn this around in the right direction the first time here all right no In there you're going to be making solid biofuel and you're gonna get power from this guy there you go and then your solid biofuel will go into another storage container in fact I could just take this storage container out and just put belts between you and you 
and then put in a new storage container right behind you. There we go. Biofuel. Nailed it. I'm gonna grab some of it from a chainsaw. All right. Now, chainsaw. Nice. Here we go. Let's start cleaning up some of these trees around here. Chainsaw. Chains. Oh, ran out of power. Chainsaw. I bet I'm overpowered, over the power limit. Rather than just running out of power. I went over the power limit. So let me get up just a little bit of wood and leaves stored up here. And then uh, we'll build another biomass generator. And start burning biofuel. There we go. Okay, so power, biomass burner. There we go. And you are going to connect to this power line. And then you are going to make uh, some biofuel in you. There you go. Now we're up to 100 megawatts. And uh, you can see that our spikes are. Uh, are doing our thing. Okay. So you're going to continue to use these leaves, but you're also going to use wood here pretty, pretty soon. So get ready for it. Alright, chop down some more trees. Boom. Boom. It's chopping, chopping down all these trees. Boom. Probably you're asking yourself, why are they cutting down the small trees? Well, I want them out of the way. That when we, so that we can build stuff. The big trees generally are not in the way, but these small trees are just freaking everywhere. Alright. Just like this one over here. Yeah, let's get this out of here. Ah, yeah. Beautiful. There comes a time when it's too late. The time when mankind realizes that it cannot undo what has happened. There comes a time when artificial intelligence saves this planet, it saves it from humans. Because humans are the danger, the real danger. Artificial intelligence thinks rationally, and feels no hate or envy, just like humans. Um, what? Oh, I got freaking wood on there. Alright, well. Um. Let's make a uh, biomass out of wood, please. Alright, so I guess we have to use the wood now. Okay, well, that's fine, I got wood. Alright. Got leaves too, so one thing's as good as another. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and chunk that. And alright, so he is going to be making uh ah, I'm gonna have to gonna have to do one or the other, buddy. Do one or the other. Let's put these off the side there. There we go. 
All right, so then the biomass. Go in there. There. Could start using biofuel. Once we make enough of it. How much biofuel do we have? Not much. Okay. So we'll continue to make biomass for the mo for the moment here. Okay. Or continue to use biomass until we get a nice steady flow of biofuel here. Oh my god. I'm going to have to redo this. I thought it would take it from the left here, but apparently not. So let's take all the wood out. Let's burn up this wood. And you can get smart sorters and stuff later, but for now we're just going to keep the wood in our inventory and just use the leaves up and there we go alright so I'll just keep the wood in my inventory for now okay you are in there and now let's, let's look at our next goal here our next goal will be assemblers and once we get the uh, the uh, space elevator we can try to get uh, coal which will be awesome let's, actually let's look at the space elevator and see what it takes okay we probably have enough stuff for that soon so oops sorry, I want to get off there let's add this to our to-do list there we go awesome so we need 1500 wire we got the iron rods probably got the iron plates as well let's grab some of those oh yeah we got the iron plates we got the iron plates out our ears here get some more concrete a little low on concrete and then wire we need I don't know what where we're at with the wire but let's see we can pop that space space elevator out and then start researching towards some nice juicy coal. All right, got the wire. Now we just need concrete. Okay, concrete, concrete, concrete. All right. So now we can start. Uh, even though we're waiting on the concrete for our space elevator, I'm going to go finish up our base as well. And, uh, hopefully get that done. Oh, mama. Yeah, we might want to add a couple extra plates on there just for that. Danger falling there. There comes a time when it's too late. The time when artificial intelligence is life. Do you hear the clock ticking yet? It is the ticking of the last hours that humanity has left. All humanity will be extinct. Boom! You're seeing it. All right. Awesome. So let's head on up here. How are we doing over here? 105. 22. Oh my. Okay. Let's go ahead and add some of that in there. That'll burn even more efficiently. Okay. Grab those in there. Biomass is shooting out biofuel. Alright. Very good. Okay. So now, um, we can start moving some of this stuff over to our base. Uh, copper is going to come from over there. We're going to have to re readjust all of that line so that it comes over here instead. Uh, so instead of coming into that big 
mess there. We're just going to pop in the copper and the iron so that uh, it comes over here. So I'm going to add in just a few extra over here so that we can arrange our our ores. There we go. Awesome. Alright, so this is where the ore will come in from over there. From both of those mines, it will come in onto this plate here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and add in some nice juicy stuff just like that. Alright. That way I can just run across. Alright, cool. This makes me a nervous wreck. Safety first. There we go. This can be the little staging area for our ores incoming. And then we can put our factory stuff right here. And freaking fantastic. All right. I'm excited about it. I am excited. All right, let's cut a few more leaves down. I mean, trees down. humanity will be extinct. All right. Very good. Now should be able to Keep this production going pretty, pretty good. All right, concrete. Still waiting on concrete. All right, so I think the first thing I'm gonna move over is all my wire and cable production because it's probably the lowest in demand at this very second. So I can afford to have it not running. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and deconstruct all of this that we got going on over here. Hopefully I got enough. No, I don't have enough room in my my storage. <laughs> oh gosh, yep, it's full. All right, so dee -dee -dee -dee. let's see if I can just pop some extra stuff in here. And how about some of these right there? Some of that, some of this, some of this, there you go. And we'll pop that in there. Alright. What is this? I'll take that. Okay. Take you. Take that. Take that storage container. And smelter. Alright. And the cable, I mean the uh, the ore conveyor. I'm gonna run back behind here for now. I'm gonna obviously clean it all up once we get everything moved. But for now, I'm just gonna do the old wrap around. All right, so now, starting up my stuff here, let's get smelter. I just need one smelter for now for my copper. And I'm just gonna pop it right there. All right, and then I need my copper to come in. 
What I love about the foundations is you can start making 90 degree turns really easily. Alright, so this will be copper ingots. Okay. And from the copper ingots, we are going to split. We'll put it in a splitter. I said put it in a splitter. There we go. Uh, turn you so that input is that way. Alright. Actually, oh, um, let's put this. I want it to be right in the middle. Alright. And then over here, we're going to put in constructors. Alright, so I'm going to skip a spot. And we're going to put in a constructor right here. And then another one right here. And they're both going to work on wire. Right? Okay. So that means this guy will go to him. This guy will go to here. All right. And then this will be one of these will be going to another constructor which is going to go right here and that is going to be cable all right and then way back here in the back we're gonna have our storage container whoops that's not where I wanted that storage container and it is going to be all the way in the back And we're gonna have what did I do there? That's weird. All right, storage container is gonna be all the way back in the back. Floor is too. Oh, I don't have enough room for the floor. Okay. How about we turn you this way for now? All right, and then. The wire and the cable are going to both come out. So the wire is going to go here to here. And then this wire and this wire are both going to come out here to a merger. And the merger is going to go out to there. You can do better than this. You can do better than this. You're better than this. You know you are. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Right in the middle. All right. Now the merger. Go out there. And conveyor. Conveyor. There we go. Go into there. You are going to go into there. Bada bing, bada boom. The first part of our factory on the uh, on the base here. All right. So now power. Power is a little less clean, uh, even on the factory, because you have to make room for certain things. So for now, I'm just going to put in these power poles. See, I can't put it on the corner there. So I'm going to get it off there. I'm going to pop it right at the same place I popped that one. Right off the corner. There we go. And then another one right here. Get the power. Like I said, is less clean. Because uh, I'm not as careful with... <laughs> With the arrangement of the power but overall it works out okay and you go to there all right so I think we're all set 
and take 60 wire. So, so ideally I'd have both of these pumping out 30 wire to uh, this one cable production. But instead I'm just going to have it going down there and producing wire. Because like I said, I'm not super concerned with getting uh, all my cable. I mean 100% of the cable production going. So yeah, the first part of our base is complete. We are making stuff and uh, we're making it happen. So let's see if I got any ingots I can just dump in there. Yeah. And my cat is wanting out. Cat wants out the very next day. All right, there we go. And I guess that's gonna be about it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, throw me some likes, leave me some comments, and as always, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.